What is a ceasefire, and why does it matter in the realm of international politics? Well, let's start by breaking it down. A ceasefire, in its simplest form, is an agreed suspension of hostilities between conflicting parties. Picture it as a pause button in the midst of chaos, a temporary halt to the bullets, bombs and bloodshed. But it's more than just a break in the action. It's a window of opportunity. A chance for diplomacy to take center stage and for humanitarian aid to reach those caught in the crossfire. This concept isn't new. It's as old as warfare itself. The ancient Greeks were known to declare Ikakiria, or periods of peace during the Olympic Games. Fast forward to more recent times, and we see ceasefires playing pivotal roles in conflicts from Vietnam to the Balkans, from Korea to the Middle East. Why does it matter? Because ceasefires can mean the difference between escalation and resolution. They're the first step on the long road to peace, the initial olive branch extended in a bid to bring warring factions to the negotiation table. They can save lives, preserve infrastructure, and provide a glimmer of hope in the darkest of times. But it's not always so straightforward. Ceasefires are delicate, fragile things, prone to violations and collapses. Their success or failure depends heavily on the unique dynamics of each conflict. While the concept of ceasefire may seem straightforward, its application often varies greatly depending on the context. Let's delve into the ceasefire between Ukraine and Russia, a complex situation that has seen numerous ceasefires over the years. The conflict between Ukraine and Russia is a multifaceted issue with deep historical roots and political implications. It's a tale of territorial disputes, political unrest, and cultural differences. It's a story that has been written and rewritten by the hands of power and politics. The first ceasefire was declared in September of 2014, shortly after the annexation of Crimea by Russia. This was a time of heightened tensions, a time when the world watched with bated breath as two nations stood on the precipice of war. The ceasefire was a beacon of hope, a promise of peace, but it was not to last. The Minsk agreements, signed in 2014 and 2015, aimed to end the hostilities and bring about a political solution. They outlined steps for a ceasefire, the withdrawal of heavy weapons, and the start of a dialogue about local elections in the disputed areas. Yet, these agreements have been violated repeatedly, leading to a series of ceasefires that have been as fragile as they have been fleeting. The ceasefires have faced numerous challenges. The lines of control are not clearly defined making it difficult to monitor breaches. Additionally, both sides accuse each other of violations, further complicating the situation. But perhaps the most significant challenge is the impact on the civilian population. Thousands of people have lost their lives and many more have been displaced from their homes. The ceasefires, while bringing temporary respite, have not been able to bring about a lasting peace. The cost of this conflict, both in terms of human lives and infrastructure, has been staggering. Yet, amidst the turmoil, the ceasefires serve a crucial purpose. They provide a breather, a moment of respite, a chance for diplomacy to take center stage. They are a reminder that peace, though elusive, is always worth striving for. The ceasefires in Ukraine and Russia illustrate the complexities and challenges in enforcing such agreements in regions of intense conflict. Moving over to the Middle East, the ceasefires between Israel and Hamas present another layer of complexity. The conflict between Israel and Hamas is steeped in a history of territorial disputes, political ideologies, and religious differences. The ceasefires that have been declared over the years are an attempt to bring some semblance of peace in these tumultuous times. The ceasefires, however, are more than just agreements on paper. They represent a momentary respite for the civilian population caught in the crossfire a chance to catch their breath and hope for a lasting peace. Yet these moments are often fleeting, as ceasefires have been repeatedly violated, leading to a resurgence of violence and conflict. The reasons behind these violations are manifold. Sometimes it's a retaliatory strike in response to a perceived provocation. Other times, it's a strategic move to gain an upper hand in the ongoing conflict. But the end result is always the same a breakdown of the ceasefire and a return to conflict. And let's not forget the impact on the civilian population. Each violation of the ceasefire brings with it a renewed wave of fear and uncertainty. 
The constant threat of violence disrupts daily life, impedes economic development, and creates a pervasive sense of insecurity. The ceasefires between Israel and Hamas have indeed presented a glimmer of hope in a seemingly endless cycle of conflict. But they have also highlighted the challenges in maintaining these agreements. Trust is fragile, and the path to lasting peace is fraught with obstacles. However, despite the setbacks, ceasefires remain a critical tool in conflict resolution. They provide an opportunity for diplomatic engagement and negotiations, a chance to address the root causes of the conflict, and most importantly, a moment of respite for the civilian population. The ceasefires between Israel and Hamas demonstrate that these agreements, while critical, are often fragile and can easily break down. But they also remind us of the importance of persistent diplomatic efforts in the pursuit of a lasting peace. What can we glean from these examples? Let's take a moment to reflect. We've journeyed through the complexities of ceasefires, seen their implementation in the Ukraine-Russia conflict and the Israel-Hamas strife. Each scenario, distinct in its own way, underscores the pivotal role ceasefires play in conflict resolution. Ceasefires are more than just temporary halts in fighting. They provide a window of opportunity for dialogue, for negotiation, for peace. They offer a respite from violence, a chance for those caught in the crossfire to breathe, to recover, to rebuild. Yet, as we've seen, maintaining a ceasefire is no easy task. It's a delicate balance, fraught with challenges. Trust must be built and often rebuilt between parties who have been at odds for years, sometimes decades. Each violation, each broken promise, bears a heavy toll, not in currency or resources, but in the far more precious commodity of human lives. In the face of such challenges, it's easy to question the efficacy of ceasefires, but let's remember, they are not the end goal, but a means to an end, a step, albeit a shaky one, towards lasting peace. Ceasefires are complex and fragile, but they remain an essential tool in the quest for peace. It's up to the international community to ensure they are respected and enforced.